we are talking about the what are the different kinds of drought which people are trying to coin it out and what is the type of inconvenience that happens. Now, when you want to that is what we are going to talk about in the drought vulnerability and risk assessment. When you talk about uh, assessing the vulnerability to drought there are conceptual models which will tell you about uh, how do we do that and uh, it could be a climate based vulnerability or it could be a agriculture based what is a climate based vulnerability is the rainfall temperature and things like that. Whereas, the agriculture vulnerability it is a vulnerability due to the non availability of water of growth plant plant growth is stunted. So, that is what we call it as a agriculture vulnerability occupational vulnerability is another one which is based on the livelihood. Now, how we this type of vulnerabilities can we do that is one is exposure, exposure in the sense you are doing an activity that activity is likely to be affected because of the uh, thing. Now, here in this case what you are doing is if you are based on the uh, rainfall too much and also your irrigation is the uh, required then your crop is likely to be done. Sensitivity is if there is going to be a slight change in the temperature or in the rainfall conditions the crop is very sensitive. So, that is what is known as that. Adaptive capacity is with all these um, deviations in the weather parameters then how people are able to cope up with the losses or cope up in the reduced outputs or reduced crop yield. So, that everything put together that is what the we call it as a vulnerability. Vulnerability is nothing but how vulnerable or sensitive those people who are in those regions due to a change in the uh, uh, due to the press, uh, occurrence of a drought or not drought that means availability or non availability of water that leads to the uh, livelihood issues. Okay. Now, that is what is how can we do what is a exposure exposure is nothing but is can be made about if you are there in a particular region where it is a drought prone that is drought happens at a different frequently and because they depend on the rainfall then it is the rainfall which matters that is for the water purposes this is depending upon whether it is annual rainfall or a seasonal monthly of that kind of category. Then the temperature the fluctuation in temperature either towards the higher side or towards the reduced temperatures that will also go is likely to affect the crop growth. So, that is where the temperature variations and vegetation cover this is the vegetation growth and the type how the vegetation growth is affected by the deviation in temperature condition temperature and rainfall condition or water availability conditions whether what type of cultivated area if it is a cultivated area we have the we have not we are, we are looking for crop production for a planning purposes. So, we expect some amount of yield from those areas if that is not coming up then we have the when we have the um, national level food security which is in going to be in trouble. Now, the population density is another factor in addition to the when you have a water resources it need to be shared amidst the population as well as towards the agriculture too. So, now these are all the different parameters which are used in identifying the exposure to drought. When you look at this particular place what is added is everything is given here ranking and weightages depending upon the past history and then it is added. Now, the exposure of population and the agriculture due to the drought conditions they have been grouped into very high to low depending upon the cumulative score based on the exposure ratings. Now, the second one is sensitivity. Sensitive is nothing but sensitivity in low or drop in a different param one parameter how it is going to affect the other activity that is what the thing. Here when it looks like that if the irrigation is total if the one area if it needs more 100 percentage irrigation oriented that is a canal oriented irrigation that means it is sensitivity to rainfall and storage and the release of water from the reservoir. Whereas, 
agriculture labor if there is going to be only agriculture labor that means if you do not do agriculture then the laborers and its family they are likely to suffer a lot. When this crop production if the entire one thing is an agriculture labor another thing is the owner of the plot if he depends only on the crop production and without any other income his lifestyle will be in trouble. So, this is the four parameters which will tell you about how sensitive these areas to these uh, variations. So, this is also based on the ranking and weighting aspect. So, they have been given and it has been grouped according to that. If the when you look at it uh, irrigated areas, so if the irrigation is not done uh, at the right time then the crop production will be now, then other thing is adaptive capacity. Suppose if there is going to be a rainfall deficiency, if there is going to be a rainfall event, how people will be able to uh, manage the issue that is what the adaptive capacity. This here the adaptive capacity is water holding structure if we, they have too many water holding structures at least to supplying water to this at least one water holding uh, structure will be able to get a water. So, rest of the they are able to do that. Then if it is going to be ground water recharge is good then they were they have the better chances of adopting it with ground water and with a minimum utility purposes. Whereas, if we are going to have livestock density water demand and literacy information is nothing but it is when you have a literate information you can identify the possible sources of water resource sources in the neighboring hood areas and then how do we then you know how to go approach and collect it that is where the literary information comes out and how to when to when the read the cloud read the satellite data read the weather forecasting information and then try to say how to hold on to the non availability of water situation for some time or how many days and then get away with that. So, this is what the adaptive capacity of this region which is means in that, but molding exposure sensitive and all those things they will put together we have the drought vulnerability index which is developed here and which will tell you about what is the percentage of drought vulnerability that means this areas. 80 percentage of the area is going to be affected by the vulnerability whereas in this areas there where the vulnerability is less that means less than the vulnerability is only 54 percentage rest of them are able to have the adaptive capacity. So, in this this is how the drought vulnerability index is often generated based on the so, uh, meteorological then hydrological agriculture and the socio-economic factors are included and then it is done. So, it will be able to when you want to do a mitigation work you can improve the storage capacity, water distribution capacity uh, or people's ability to adapt. So, you can frame your management practices on different scales rather than depending only on a particular aspects. Now, uh, this is villages how much percentage of the villages how that here in this area 80.65 percentage of the village population is likely to be affected by that whereas, here it is less then up, uh, adaptive capacity is in this areas where the people have got a highest adaptive capacity whereas, in these areas where they have got a low adaptive capacity. So, that is nothing but it is their own personal resources and their personal ability to cope up with the drought which is a temporary period, but it is not going to be a permanent features for those people. Now, what we have seen in the uh, in this lecture is normally drought vulnerability activities we talk about how vulnerable to a particular aspect whereas, in this uh, case what we are able to say is we are able we are in able to integrate the different aspects of a drought and then we are uh, trying to bring out which is the area which needs attention immediately and which are the areas which needs uh, attention for a, of a focused attention is needed rather than um, uh, so that the crisis management can be avoided or it can be split into expected 
and then develop your own uh, resistance or adaptive capacity of the region and then uh, and so that the drought even comes and then passes off. Thank you.